Jo, halt zurück zu Steel Rising. Wir wollen ja mal gucken, dass wir hier mal die Herren nochmal interviewen. Lafayette zur Rede stellen und ein paar Sachen abfragen. Also, machen wir mal. So, mein Freund. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. You lied to me, General. Now I know all about your machinations. And what could you possibly think you know? I know that you raised the National Guard for the sole purpose of taking command of it. There was nothing spontaneous about the uprising. Do you have any evidence to support your accusations? I do. I have the manifesto. Bon sang. Why resort to this manipulation? You must understand what I have done. I did for the good of the kingdom. I wanted to stop this massacre while protecting the Queen and the Dauphin. In the name of the people, Aegis. But an actual uprising of the people would have inevitably led to disaster. Only professional soldiers could organize and lead the resistance. Mm -hmm. Why resort to this manipulation? You must understand what I have. I wanted to put an action only prof. Who were your accomplices? My brothers in arms, the brave men of the Regiment de Saint-Ange, veterans of the American War, men who at the Battle of Yorktown brought an empire to its knees. Alas, we gravely underestimated the enemy's forces. We thought we would face an infantry supported by a handful of machines, but an entire army of automats. It was unthinkable. Some accuse you of harboring a lust for power. The circumstances were to your advantage. These aspersions are all too familiar to me. But tell me, if I wanted the crown for myself, why did I not take it when I returned from America? When I had seasoned troops at my command and the people sang my praises with one voice. No, that makes no sense. Though I readily admit that I do believe I am worthy of fulfilling an important role for the Queen after her son is crowned. Lieutenant General of the Kingdom, for example. Or even, if circumstance requires, the Regent. Voila. Now you know everything. I haven't left anything out. However, this truth, if it were made public, would play right into my enemy's hands. So I ask you not to reveal anything I've just told you. And to give me the manifesto. No, General. You'll forgive me for choosing to hold on to it. In that case, my fate remains in your hands. Can you at least tell me where my detractor is hiding? The one who is spreading these charming rumors about me. I cannot tell you anything, General. Oh, no matter. I will not let this serpent continue to vilify me. I shall get redress for these aspersions in the end. Do as you wish, General de Lafayette. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. So, wollen wir mit ihm, glaube ich, noch sprechen? Monsieur Raymond. Go on, Aegis. See you later, perhaps. Nee, äh, der, der, äh, die beiden hier, er hier, glaube ich, er, ne? Ach so, Abby, genau. Can I help you, Aegis? What is the significance of these objects steeped in memories? Nemes. I have reread every work that I have on them. Pages that have remained unintelligible to this day. These echoes go back to the beginning of time. To that fateful day in ancient Greece when some dark magician took it into his head to bind a soul to an inanimate object. You see, Aegis. There is nothing more diabolical, nothing more unnatural than this sorcery. The soul is the very essence of the divine. It refuses to submit to such an abomination and resists, eventually breaking. The earliest necromancers whose works have survived through the centuries all describe the same phenomenon. When a soul is fragmented, three shards of memory are torn from its consciousness and take shelter in three objects that the victim held dear. It's as if these memories wish to remain bound to the mortal who had held them until then. I found this notebook written in Latin. Indeed. Medieval Latin, to be precise. Oh, hold on. Bon sang. 
Aegis, what a find. This handwriting. I would recognize it anywhere. It's in Nicholas Flamel's own hand. Give mm -hmm. me some time to study this, and I'll tell you what I'm able to glean from it. Have you finished reading the notebook, mon père? Yes, Aegis. And what I learned from it puzzles me. In this diary, Flamel tells of three journeys. Three journeys into what he calls the in-between. A strange world filled with wandering souls. Tormented spirits that are unable to ascend to heaven. This world? It's where Cagliostro's victims were trapped until I freed them. Bonifé, I believe you're right. But that's not all. Flamel planned to return there a fourth time. He wrote this in the final paragraph, in his handwriting, dated 21st of March, 1418. That was the day before he died, Aegis. What if his body died while his soul was traveling through limbo? What if he were trapped, a prisoner in this purgatory? Aegis, because of your unique nature, we have an incredible opportunity. What do you mean, mon père? If the soul that animates you has been bound to the automaton that serves as its vessel, then it can be separated from it too. And if this were the case, the soul would travel to purgatory, where Cagliostro entraps the souls of his victims. Hold on. Are you trying to convince me to go and find Nicholas Flamel? I'm offering you a chance to speak to the man who discovered the Philosopher's Stone. Surely you won't pass it up. Assuming I agree to venture into purgatory, do I even have a chance of finding him there? Certainly. According to this journal, the soul flies to the zenith of the place where it left the body of the deceased. Or that of the pilgrim, in this case. If Flamel's soul is trapped in purgatory, as we've guessed, You'll need to go to the house where he drew his dying breath. Is it still standing? Of course. It's on Rue de Montmorency, in the Quartier de l'Hôtel de Ville. You can get there via the cemetery of the Église Saint-Jacques. And how do you plan to free my spirit from this automat? We would simply need to break the bond between them. And to do this, we would need to stop your machinery. For a short time, of course. We don't want to lose you, ma chère. As for the rest, it will be a question of mechanics, chemistry, or electric currents, or something or other. Therein lies the problem. This is far beyond my comprehension. But it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier could shed some light on the matter. Tja, das muss man mal gucken, ne? Mhm. Goodbye, mon père. Irgendein Wiss Wissenschaftler mal fragen, der sich damit auskennt. So, was kann er mir denn noch erzählen? Monsignor. What can I do for you, Aegis? Monseigneur, I would like to talk to you about your recent meeting with the Marquis de Mirabeau. What has gotten into all of you? This has gone on long enough. I will say it one last time and pray that they will finally leave me alone. Nothing and no one will make me violate the secrecy of his confession. Have I made myself clear? Perfectly clear, Monseigneur. Hmm, wir haben ja eigentlich noch mal mit ihm hier noch ein Thema gehabt, ne? Have you learned more about the bond between your spirit and your body? No, mon père. Who would know more? Perhaps Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier could shed Ja, wissen wir. Okay, Goodbye, wir kommen gar nicht mehr weiter, okay. Gut, dann gehen wir doch Monsieur Dingsabum Sikulo, oder? Monsieur Bailly. I found this box with astronomical symbols on it. I believe it belongs to Volkonson's daughter. Atanias's secret box. I built it with my own hands. It was my gift to her on her 15th birthday. I wasn't able to open it. Naturellement. Atanias and I are the only ones who know how. Allow me. You must arrange the planets the way they were aligned on the day of Atanias's birth. Voila, like this. What's this locket? Atanias is always wearing this. It contains a portrait of her late mother. She said it was her most cherished possession in all the world. To think the poor child never knew her own mother. You 
monster! What did you do to her? Kommt der Sache näher, oder? Lydia, was passiert? Du froze the moment you touched the locket. I thought you were. I thought I'd lost you. I saw her. At the nice de Vaucanson. The Conde Cagliostro has her. Mon Dieu. It is just as I feared. He bound her spirit to an automat. Please, say no more. At a nice. It is her spirit that animates you. Is it not? Yes. I believe so. Seigneur, quelle abomination. It is vital that you go and find Atenais as soon as possible. She is right in front of you. I am Atenais. Alas. I fear that is not entirely accurate. You know nothing of Atenais, Lydia. Nothing of her past, her joys, her suffering. Nothing of her love for her father. You are but the vessel that harbors the poor child's soul. Where can I find Atenais's body? God only knows. Although I assume that the Comte de Cagliostro is taking pains to keep her alive, this is certainly the only way to keep her spirit alive in you. The only way to free her is to find her body. Why was Eugène de Vaucanson imprisoned in the Bastille? Once he discovered the King's true intentions, he refused to continue cooperating with him. He refused to use his talents to create this abominable army. But the king didn't take kindly to his resignation. Eugène did manage to get a letter to me just before he was arrested. Here, take it. Junge, die Schatulle zeigen und Medaillon haben wir gekriegt. Okay, alles klar. So, jetzt mit ihm nochmal quatschen. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? Do you think there is any way to interrupt my internal clockwork? To what end? I would like to briefly sever the bond between my spirit and this automat. Hmm. It is a very strange request, madame. For what purpose do you seek to free your soul from its shell? According to the abbot, my spirit would then be able to visit purgatory. Oh, that dreadful place. Why on earth would you want to go there? I hope to find answers to some very important questions. You must understand, madame, that your very nature is a mystery to us. We are ignorant as to the principle that imbues you with life. Nor do we know how your machinery works. That is why it is impossible for us to make even the slightest alteration. It would mean taking an unacceptable risk. Of course, if we had documents that could shed light on the matter... Antoine, the blueprints. What blueprints, mon ami? Ludias. Eugène gave them to me when he was working on the modifications ordered by the king. He wanted my opinion on the potential for reducing the size of certain key parts. The documents are obsolete now, but they could tell us quite a bit about the mechanical principles that are shared by Ludia and Aegis. Bon song, you're right. Where are the blueprints now? Alas, the situation is not in our favor. I kept them in the safe at the observatory, but earlier, mm -hmm. when I went there to collect my most important documents, before setting off for the convent, I found looters making off with its contents. Blasted scavengers. Their kind are always quick to make the most of chaos. I chased them to the keys, but was unable to apprehend them. When they disappeared into an underground passageway under the Louvre, I decided it was best not to follow them. You acted wisely, mon ami. The automats are everywhere, and the marauders don't stand much of a chance. I'll try to track them down. Where can I obtain some vitriol? I had some, but my laboratory at L'Arsenal was ransacked. I can't tell you any more than that. You should ask my colleague, Monsieur Bailly. He uses similar substances in his research. Goodbye, Monsieur Levoisier. Did you find the blueprints that were stolen from me? No, Monsieur. Don't forget that those documents are our only chance to discover what was used to craft you. The looters disappeared into the tunnels under the Louvre and the Tuileries. I find it hard to believe that they were able to escape from that maze safely. 
I have not yet found the vitriol that we need. As I said, you will find it in my storeroom on the ground floor of the observatory. Goodbye, Monsieur B. What of your plan to go to the Bastille? I am working on it. The tunnels under Montmartre are the only way to get around the fortifications that cut off access to the fortress. I have recovered Minister Necker's bonds. Do you intend to entrust them to me? Yes. I have chosen to place this fortune in your hands. Very well, madame. I promise that I will use it for one purpose only. To give the people their freedom. When a monarch violates the people's most fundamental rights, insurrection is their most sacred and indispensable duty. But we must be wary of warmongers, who would lead the rebellion in the name of the people, because all they truly want is to become tyrants in turn. Were you present when the estates general... Oui, madame. Yeah, we first bare, rule. So he had the posit Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. Monsieur de Mirabeau. Alas, the bishop stubbornly refused to reveal anything. Damn it. I need to know what my rogue of a father is up to. Let me think. In light of the cartload of threats he sent me, it's safe to wager that my sister and mother received similar letters. They may even have already suffered his revenge. However, my sister lives in Gas in the south of France. Unless a messenger rode a hundred horses to death, she could not have received this letter. Then there is my poor mother. If you ask me, I will go to find her. Yes, yes, it's very kind of you to offer. But I couldn't even tell you where she is staying. Your own mother? Indeed. It's a very embarrassing matter. A secret, which I beg you not to divulge. I can be discreet, rest assured. Very well. You should know that my mother, the Countess of Covey, has lost everything. Truly. First her fortune, Weste zu knöpfen, oder? then her faculties. No matter what I tried, nothing could prevent her decline. It is said that she is now living on charity. In the most abject poverty in the slums of the Marais. If perchance your past takes you to this dreadful place, and if she still remembers who she is, Perhaps you may meet her. Gräfin von Covet finden. Covet. So, ähm, wenn wir, äh, warte mal. Hm, wir haben jetzt mit ihm gequatscht. Was hat denn Robespierre jetzt vor? What have your plan to go to the Bastille? Ja, okay. I am working on it. The tunnels under Montmartre are the only way to get around the fortifications that cut off... Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. Ähm, das Ding da mit ihm hier nochmal quatschen wegen der Pläne, oder? Did you find the blueprints that were stolen from me? No, Monsieur. Don't forget that those documents are our only chance to discover what was used to craft you. The looters disappeared into the tunnels under the Louvre and the Tuileries. I... Regarding Ludia's blueprints... Were you able to get them? No, Monsieur. Don't forget that those documents are our open Ja, wissen wir. Okay, dann gehen wir mal an, unter den Louvre. Machen wir das einfach mal. Monsieur oh. Madame? I'm surprised to find you here. Did you follow me? Didn't you know? The Duke's allies are always impeccably informed. Some even say that we have eyes and ears everywhere. What do you want from me? To tell you the truth, I can't wait to hear what you've discovered about the matter at hand. And I was afraid you might leave me in the lurch. You can never be too cautious these days. That's why I decided it would be better for me to come to you. Mm -hmm. You were right. Lafayette was behind this purportedly popular uprising. Aha! I've got him at last! But he had no intention of handing his men over to the king. His goal was to raise an army and command the troops himself. It doesn't matter. These troops would have allowed him to crush the patriots and set himself up as a dictator. He lied to the people. He lied to the Assemblée Nationale. His time has come. 
All I need is for you to give me the proof of his treason. Here. The details about the operation are written in this manifesto. Madame, I didn't expect so much. The end of Mottier de Lafayette. The executioner has signed his own death warrant. I will now share these revelations with the people's representatives. Ka -ching. Long live the Assemblée Nationale. Mara, ça par exemple, you're certainly a bold one. Monsieur, I have come to pay my respects. Mon pauvre ami, you must be out of your mind to come and defy those you so cruelly maligned. Maligned, you say? This remains to be seen, Monsieur de Mirabeau. I have here a document that its author has amusingly entitled Le Manifeste Henri V. It appears that the name Louis has fallen from fashion these days. Quiet, scoundrel, or I'll make you swallow your tongue! Come now, you wouldn't dare, my dear Mottier. Not when we're in such fine and plentiful company. Monsieur, in these pages, you will learn of the vast plot devised by the Marquis de Lafayette and his sinister conspirators. You will discover how our national hero orchestrated the so-called popular uprising that gave rise to the National Guard. Pensons, Monsieur le Marquis. Huh? You will also learn that he has proclaimed himself General-in-Chief in the hope of making himself King in turn, and that it is his lust for power to which the patriots who fell in Place Dauphine owe their tragic fate. C'est incroyable. You must believe it, cher monsieur. Because to add insult to injury, this Tom Fool was daft enough to sign his missive. Par tous les saints. If what Mara says is true, this is treachery of the basest sort. Well, Monsieur le Marquis, do you deny it? No, I don't. The loathsome Mara speaks the truth. I wanted to create an army that would be able to rid our kingdom of our anointed executioner. Just as we freed America from England's choking grasp, I only kept it secret to avoid causing more chaos. Can you understand? You defied the people, Lafayette. This is enough to condemn you. So be it. You won't hear from me anymore. I leave the fate of the nation in the hands of the speechifiers and demagogues. I encourage you to say your prayers, gentlemen. For our end is near. As for you, rat, go back to the cesspit from whence you came. You should never have come out. I will gladly follow that order, General. Such is my pleasure that it will be your last. Ooh, Ruhm und Ehre. Okay, das haben wir gecheckt. Jetzt lassen wir mal eben gucken. Wollen unterm Louvre noch mal schauen eben. Eben, vielleicht jetzt auch. Dauert es auch ein bisschen länger. Mal gucken. So, Louvre, Flup, Reisen, schaffen und da unten sind die Baupläne. Okay. Let's go. Bist du hier runter dann, oder was? So, hier rein, oder? Kiki. Geht natürlich nicht auf, okay? Bon 
Schmeiß ich doch selber. Komm. Ganz doch. Sitzt in der Gude? Oh, da kommen wir auch noch durch. Da geht's noch tiefer. Okay. So. Auf. Zack. Wo kommt man denn dahin, wenn man da rauf? Flupp. Junge. Tschüss. So, hier kommen wir doch raus, ne? Wieder, oder? Ist das nicht hier gleich? Jawohl. So, und wir müssen dann zurückdüsen gleich. Oder? Hm. Über da hinten rauf. Gehen wir in die Blueprints gleich, oder? Okay, lass uns noch mit ihm quatschen. Dürfte jetzt ein bisschen leerer sein. Lafayette ist bestimmt weg. <lacht> Na, der steht da noch. Okay, der hat ganz schön Sitzfleisch. Na gut. Monsieur Bailly. Here are the blueprints you asked for. Good heavens. You found them. Your thieves were not able to profit much from their theft. They met with an unfortunate end. Oh, the poor souls. Their crimes did not deserve such a permanent ending. Certainly, certainly. Let us look at these documents now, if you will. No, Antoine, the F-wheel is not part of the cog that transfers the driving force to the escapement. Diable, you're right. It's driven by the B-wheel, and its axis is on the shaft that's visible at this point. Precisely. In fact, the shaft sits between the conical bearing and the small groove here. See? True. It's decided then. All we would have to do is separate these two plates to disable the entire thing. And to put them back in place at the agreed time to start the machine again. You will not be able to assist me. 
I have to do it alone. Half a league away. You must be joking. By no means. You'll have to find another solution. Unfortunately, madame, you're asking us to do the impossible. Oh, ça, par exemple. Once your spirit is untethered from this automat, it will be impossible for you to start the machine up again. Hold on, my dear Antoine. Is this device in figure four? Is it still in place? Hmm. Yes, it is. What of it? Bon sang. It's a timer. It's primitive, true, but fully functional. The dial has marks from 1 to 15, probably minutes. It was to allow Eugène to plan the duration of Ludia's dances in advance. Oh, I see. And by reversing the position of this peg in the center, we could instead turn it into a period of inactivity. Nous y sommes, mon ami. 15 minutes, Fantastic. okay. Will Aegis be able to operate this device herself? We'll make it easier for her. All you have to do is put a bolt there that she can remove when the time is right. Yes, a small iron rod will suffice. We won't have any trouble finding something that will do. When the timer dial reaches zero, the automat will come back to life. However, given the dial's fragility, we will probably get only one chance to try this. Are you sure that the bond between my soul and this machine will be re-established? Ma foi, I admit that we can't be sure of this. What do you say, mon père? Don't be afraid, Aegis. Unless I've been wrong from the beginning, your soul will seek refuge in the only body it has available to it in this world. Well then, shall we start the preparations? Let's begin. My fate is in your hands, monsieur. Voila. Everything is in place. When it's time, just pull on this metal loop to start the timer. Remember, you will have 15 minutes and no more before your spirit returns to your body. We wish you good luck, madame. Remember, to get to Rue de Montmorency, you're best going through the cemetery behind the Église Saint-Jacques in the Quartier de l'Hôtel de Ville. Here is the key to the gate. Our prayers are with you, my child. Friedhofsschlüssel. Uh, uh, Zwischenwelt betreten. Jetzt erstmal nicht, würde ich sagen. Erst beim nächsten Mal. Also, bis dann. Ciao.